Hello, this is George Lees, and that is a picture of the goldsmiths. Yeah, Maximilian Benedict Haim Goldsmith, 1843 to 1940, right through the period of World War One, when Britain was at war with Germany. Yeah, that is the goldsmiths of Germany that are the parents of Commoner Kate, and that is the goldsmith that is the parent of Princess Diana by that woman, yeah, who is our legitimate mother and he's, the goldsmiths are also uh, Commoner Kate's family, yeah, that is our mother, is a goldsmith, it's a massive for-profit organisation. So let's just remind you that this is this family. So, it's me again, yeah, in front of the poppies, which is the greatest joke of all, yeah, that is all the war dead, the funding of every side in every war, and this lot have been around since the Roman, by the uh, Bible was written and the Roman court was corrupted, and there are the images showing you, I met uh, either a body double for uh, Emily Blunt last night, or the real deal, She's pretending that she's <laughs> studying law in Newcastle University and she showed up just in time uh, for them to end the academic year. <laughs> and she's so poor, yeah, as a Canadian citizen that I had to pay for uh, a gin for her last night. <laughs> that is uh, the Blunt family that are pictured there, married into uh, the Duke of Wellington's Vaughan Wellesley bloodline and that is James Blunt and his sister is Emily and she's married to a man that is on the other tabs eh, and they are massive so they are in the bloodlines that take you into the Mrs Doyle and Father Ted jokes let me just tell you what Emily Blunt's relatives are called <laughs> And then we can get on with the story about the Rothschilds and the massive links to even the killing of the princess and the parent of the current uh, contenders for that corrupted English throne. Yeah, Zach Goldsmith, all of them are on the bloodlines for Rothschild. Yeah, and there's Princess Diana talking to the Goldsmith woman that was married to Imran Khan and there they are all in the back of the taxi and Lily Allen, if there's a Lily Rothschild too I would not be at all surprised <laughs> okay so there is, uh, let me now show you quickly Emily Blunt's people uh, and who she's now married to that's a tab that says Barbara Hutchison that is the one that was a Rothschild 
the Hutchisons are on the presidential bloodline and I'll show you all of that in a minute <laughs> there's Emily Blunt's stuff there and that may be her bloodline yeah it is so there's the John Krasinski he's Blunt's Mrs uh, that's little Emily she's got another sister and she he is married to another one of these super world owning families I can't remember what it is but I'll cover all of that in another yeah I still want revenge for the stealing of that glass of gin last night <laughs> yeah pretending that she was walking with fascist black Wellingtons on which is the joke for the Wellington family being married into the Blunts did you get it? that's James Blunt, her brother uh, we're not going to be able to see this so I might as well go back to the to the let's warm it up and let's see if we can get on with the story of the Rothschilds and all their massive jokes as they engage the whole of those world owning families on the bloodlines that they're in there is the thumbnail for a video I made last week there is the Hedwig and Jaggy Louie of Lithuania Vladislav and that is Mick Jagger from the Jagalonian dynasty and that is his ex-wife now married to Rupert Murdoch because all of them are sad bastards and they're all in the same bloodlines and they need to keep their money yeah by marrying the same families that have been inbred for all that time yeah and only the uh, male folk get archived on the Rothschild ladder which is why there are so many people out there like Wedgie Ben and the Star Wars actor that was Ewan McGregor he's the Rothschilds of Watford yeah massive massive uh, secrets because they're not ob obligated to make their massively lethal that's Kaiser Bill yeah who was the cousin of the conflicting armies yeah he was closer than cousin I think yeah it was kind of like half brother and that is the story for Bill Clinton uh, and he's married into uh, the same lines okay James Blunt married Wellington Kaiser Jagger Sigismund Freud and all of them appear on that world owning bloodline okay Frederick William Louise of Mecklenburg Strelitz okay let's get on with what I've learned today because you've seen all of that yeah and there is grinning like a Cheshire cat FDR right next to the cold place stuff and Sigisbert marries Emma Child yeah <laughs> Dagobert marries Matilda and Giselle of Rags another part of the world owning bloodline branches okay so let's go down and see what we find let me just read you that bit on the top which my computer's been totally crashed since I tried to archive this five lines of the Austrian branch of the Rothschild family were elevated into the Austrian nobility being given hereditary baronies of the Habsburg the rich money lenders that are also Jewish by Emperor Francis II in 1816 that's the Habsburgs that funded the discovery of the South Pacific the Habsburgs that funded the brutalization of the whole of the American continent and the killing of all the Indians on it <laughs> and the pygmies and everything that moves so that they can take over the entire world and the woman got bored with me talking about serious issues last night and fucked off as soon as she had finished the gin <laughs> okay uh, and that's just in time for the university that she thinks she's going to attend uh, to close for the summer holidays <laughs> there is the Duke of Wellington who is the bloodline for the Blunts now because that is James Blunt marrying uh, Sophie uh, Wellesley yeah <laughs> okay uh, and let's go down and give you some new stuff okay there is a picture of von Wellesley and the Austrian nobility so they were stripped of their titles in 1919 and there is the 8th Duke of Wellington looking really stressed we'll see him in how there is James Blunt with uh, Sophia Wellesley yeah 
they've dropped the wood now since I released that part of the story that these are the partners of Rothschild through all of the war crimes since 1815 when they stole the Bank of England using the Duke of Wellington yet she w had pathetic black fascist Wellingtons last night that were riddled with bullet holes yeah and it's really sickly she pretended that she was from Canada yeah and she had great knowledge of everything except these bloodlines <laughs> yeah and is interested in studying law okay uh, and there's the 58 best images about the Dukes of Wellington guess what it's on the pie interest page do you see that under the letter 58 pie interest and there is Arthur Wellesley 8th Duke of Wellington kind of stressed out looking man maybe because they're going to be exposed now and I can't remember the name of that politician there but he will be in this bloodline too and there is Grosvenor yeah who was the richest man in Britain and I'm going to show you how all of them link to the Duchess of Sutherland and all of them link through the Monte Fiore family to the false terror in London just a few weeks ago and the death of Tara Palmer Tompkinson it's all the same families Ali G Baron Cohen Baron Cohen has a massive role to play in your understanding of this massive joke against all of the world's people there is Mayor Amschel Rothschild, yeah, was born 1744 in the ghetto, sung about by Elvis Presley in the ghetto, yeah, because Elvis Presley is in their bloodlines, and that's why God makes him unhinged, and that's why he died so young. In Frankfurt, at the age of 13, he went to Hanover to serve an apprenticeship with the bank, uh, and this is important because this is a non-entity bank of Simon Wolf Oppenheimer and there are the pictures of the Oppenheimers that were the bosses for the Rothschilds and then launched the bomb yeah that's the video that has been banned on the University of Göttingen and the University of Heidelberg supplying all of the American rocket scientists who did for Japan isn't it lovely? And that is Margaret Hodge, née Oppenheimer, who's on the official uh, uh, remu the, uh, remuneration boards. She's the one that is supposed to be on the Banking Standards Committee. Yeah, and the Banking Standards people are Rothschilds too, and that is the people that fled Yeah, when Boris Johnson launched the Barclays Bike. They run the Barclays Bank as Rothschilds. Yet yeah, every one of the banks are now tied into their thrall and remember that Evelyn de Rothschild in America is the Queen's financial advisor and he's not even on the Forbes rich list because they're all totally corrupted. And I did not really regret giving the women the gin because I now totally understand it's exactly the same as what happened to me with the Wilsons at Cranand. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, at the age of 19 he returned to Frankfurt. There he joined his brother Kalman's. That's Kalman Rothschild. He's further down. That's the Italian connection and the kissing instead of the Pope's feet like every other visitor before him because he's the papal money lender. He gets to kiss the Pope's ring. Yeah. And that is Kalman of Durham University who sent me to Australia as a collaborator for him, Kenneth Kalman. Yet yeah, massive fraudster in healthcare, and there are the relatives of Gertrude Schnapper, that is Alex Salomon Rothschild, and that is the hopelessly decrepit plan that is the cover for the fact that this is Gertrude Schnapper's dynasty, and Schnapper is the nickname for a fish called. Uh, called uh, so he is Salmon and she is uh, she is I've forgotten her name Nicola Sturgeon the Sturgeon and the Schnapper are the same thing yeah and all of those people that were in the ghetto in Frankfurt are representing professions so she's the surgeon's profession 
Yeah, and that's the corrupted doctors that are represented in the stories I'm going to tell you. Yeah, who buy the goldsmiths and all their massive frauds. There is uh, a mention of Benedict Moses Worms, and I've told you already in several videos how Pope Benedict and how Pope Jean Paul Getty of the Roman Emperor's lines are totally corrupted, and some, one of the, both of them are Jewish. Both of them are related to Rothschild. Schonk, yeah, that will be the stone of Schoon joke, I think. Jeanette Rothschild, Benedict Moses Worms, born 1772, died 1824, yeah, after Waterloo. And the beginning of the Five Arrows conquest of every central bank across our globe in the name of the Jewish nation, yeah, and all of them are corrupted Christians as well. It's the same joke, it's the same families, the Jews that wrote the Bible, yeah, the Piso family that are on the bloodline that will show you further down. You see it nearly every day now. There is Michael Caine, yeah, <laughs> the jokes about the top hats and all the stuff. There is Merkel, where that's Marco where Pope Benedict was born and there he is worshipping the circumcised totem pole for the American Indians and all the pagans across the globe. There is the Gutlin links to the Wiesenthals of the Official Secrets Committee in, and there is Joseph Aloysius Ratzinger that is the stuff that I've been telling you about. Everybody that has the Alois name in their middle uh, the middle of the nomenclature is born for greatness and that is the uh, that is the Lewis dynasty and the Archilaus dynasty that were the Pisos on the earliest segments of that family bloodline and he's the Ro Holy Roman Emperor and the cock neighing in all of the jokes about us knowing nothing about anything that is world history there is the swastika and the British agent that was Adolf Hitler, he also shared that Alois Hitler name. There's his great grandpa, I think it was, and all of them are r out of Rothschild's cigar semen tubes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Marktel am Inn is the birthplace of Pope Benedict, and that is Merkel from the same tubes. Yeah, Rabbi Hitchcock Hakkinen. Yeah, Akiva Conan, and that is Hitchcock that has his numerical code, and there are all the links of Adolf Hitler being a Rothschild. Lionel Nathan Rothschild was the parent of many of Queen Victoria's babies. There's the Ratzinger family paternal lineage, that is Pope Benedict, and the first person that we've encountered on that bloodline is Benedict. Yeah, the Jew. All of it is explained in those earlier videos that I've made. Can you hear how the Piso Polis are in panic? <laughs> right, let's get on with it. Adolf Hitler was a Rothschild. There is Evelyn the Rothschild, yet yeah, the current advisor to the Queen. His new wife, he's on his, she's on her third husband. She started life as a Hewitt and that is the Hewitts that got involved with the murder of Princess Diana and being the lovers of Princess Diana yeah, and wreaking the anger of these lethal families okay, and there's the Merlins that are in the Judengas place that is the Frankfurt ghetto yeah, the Merlins of the Judengas yeah, all of it tied into the Arthurian legends like all the bullshit I'm going to show you. Salomon Mayer Rothschild, 1774-1885, founder of Rothschild Banking family in Austria. Do you get the Salomon joke now? Yeah, for Alex Salomon out of the cigar tube. Yeah, with nowhere to go, he's even been booted out in the last election. Yeah, I don't know if they knew that I was going to be, he was going to be under fire again, but his joke is massive. There it is again. Salmon fishing in the Yemen with the Rothschild of Watford, who is that man there, who plays the Star Wars role 
yeah, with the people that dropped dead just a few months ago. Yeah, there's Emily Blunt. Yeah, she's lovely with her black wellies on and the holes in them, just to show that she's powerful and capable of gloating at what they've done to the world, like her brother, with the Rothschilds and with the Duke of Wellington. Yeah, that's why she wore the wellies. Yeah, <laughs> and his name is Vaughn Wellesley in the Austrian nobility, and that is why Sophia Wellesley married Blunt. Okay, do you get the Yemen? That is the Garden of Aden. Yeah before Noam Chomsky explained that all of it had to be renamed because all of it was going to be told by me that's Noam Chomsky the boss at Harvard and MIT a noted neuroscientist yeah and a false socialist like all of the socialists that I've now learned about yeah all the political figureheads uh, that's the Scottish socialist that is the sixth cousin of David Cameron he's a Dugdale, that is all of the Milliband brothers, all of them on the Rothschild payroll, for that woman that used to be called uh, Hewitt, yeah, now Evelyn de Rothschild's filthy rich wife, 25 years younger than him, I might get some of a retirement fund if I snuggle up, <laughs> okay, there is the Star Wars MacGregor, Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher team. They were lovers. He is in the Aryan Master Race, which is why he makes all the movies about my life story. Yeah, and that is him with Fisher, and she dropped dead the day before her mother dropped dead, or within a few days. Yeah, and that is the Star Wars joke that we were all Roman emperors, we were all clerics all across the brutalized Holy Roman Empire world, or the Roman world and all roads lead back to Rome. Yeah, the Aryan master races on that yellow brick road, yeah, right across into the death camps in Poland, right at the Berlin Wall for David Bowie and all the other family members related to Bing Crosby and all the war profiteers. Yeah, related to Donald. There's Nathan Mayer Rothschild, uh, founder of Rothschild Banking Family of England. Okay, down below you see the world's biggest secrets. This is the London Terror. This is Moses Montefiore. Yeah, decrepit looking man lives down on the south coast uh, where Nicola Sturgeon has now bought yeah, the links to the airfield there. That is, he launched his, uh, uh, his uh, Israeli, uh, his Jewish place of worship in. Uh, the town that was uh, it's named on the south coast uh, look up Moses Montefiore and you'll see that Nicholas Sturgeon has bought the Glasgow airport using my divorce solicitor Peter Patterson as the company secretary they bought it for a quid he's now got no, got no companies left because all of them are fraudsters like the woman I met last night she did not enjoy my conversation. I think what happens is that when they get too many truths at the same time, they begin to get pins and needles and prinkling and yeah, and it, all of it means that they have to panic and rush off. She did it very gracelessly. Yeah, going back to her students' residences just as the unit a university begins to close. Okay, do you get it? This is the man that was. Uh, the brother-in-law of Nathan Mayer Rothschild that launched the Bank of England and stole the stock market in 1815 with the orchid on his shoulder. Okay, that reminds me of the earlier financial services fraud in Amsterdam. Those are the tulips that used to get sold and that is all of the links of the people in my hometown, the Elliots, to Amsterdam and selling them the bulbs every spring. Baron Cohen married Montefiore. That is Baron Cohen, the joke for all of these elite families that we're allowed to spend millions of pounds on buffoonish professors in the best universities in the world, in inverted commas. Yeah, and that is Baron Cohen's brother who's pictured further down. The real Baron Cohen in the cover-ups 
is Ali G, and this is what they become. Yeah, the lovers of Prince Charles, rejected, then becomes an alcoholic and a drug addict, then has a massive glioma, and they have to change the story because they realize that the gods are after them now, but that would be a terrible thing and it would create panic in all the elite world owners that own every central bank on the globe and are related to Poppy. Can you see the Poppy on his lapel? Yet yeah, they run the Poppy Fund with the Duke of Westminster and all of them are all inbred for generation after generation after generation. Okay? So, you get it, that's the killing of PC Palmer, yeah? Tara Palmer Tompkinson, yeah? and her death, all the interviews she makes with Skinner, yeah? there is some more of the covers. Okay, we're down now to Isabella Rothschild, Bernhard Judah Sickle, yeah? that is massive. All those names are world incidents covered up yeah? in a hyphenated way. Okay, that's Princess Isabella of France. That is Bernhard Judah of the liberation of the Jews from the Egyptians who are in the bloodline too. And that is Beaverbrook's uh, Daily Express with the man who goes to the Holy Lands in those seven great crusades to massacre the poor people in the name of loving your neighbour, which is Jesus' big command. Next we get to, this is the Judah joke again, one of my favourite films featuring the brother of Charlton Heston, the actor's role. He plays Judah in that, and there's Judah declares war on Germany. Yeah, in the Daily Express, written by Beaverbrook, who's the man with the top hat on, and the massive owner of all of the aircraft manufacturing riches through World War II, as he releases uh, Lord Haw Haw into the enemy side because he speaks perfect English because he's a Perse, Pierce yeah, of this town yeah, the people that were, ran the coal mines yeah, and that is, sorry, he's not a Percy he is a Joycey yeah, last man to be executed in inverted commas and shipped off to the tax havens with Richard Branson and Sean Connolly and all those massive heroes that are the double agents through all of the war led by Ian Fleming. Okay, so do you get it? Bernhard Judah Seychell, 1780 to 1862. Not quite late enough to get to Khartoum and to start massacring the Islamic people. Yeah, that are the, I forget what they call him, the mad Maharaja or something, the Mad Mahdi, okay, there is the genealogy of Sickle, there is the Hammer for Thor and the Sickle for Michel, my Sikel, yeah, all of it is the same jokes and here we go now to Babette and all the film stars and all the films that are made about Babette, Sigmund Leopold Bafus de, yeah, Banker, genealogy of Bafus not carrying the name Rothschild. Do you get it? The D. <laughs> yeah? Uh, Sigmund, that is now the world owning blood lines, that is Sigismund 1 to about 7 or 8 on the family tree that I'll show you further down. Yeah? Do you get the sickle and the hammer? Yet they still pretend that it is an icon for socialism in Austria. That is the master race country for uh, the people like Jacob Rothschild, who's an emperor of that country, even after they've banned them using the Rothschild name, yeah, in 1919 for their war crimes in the previous four years, the killing of 80 million folk. Next is Sigismund Freud. Do you get it? That is the Freuds that are married to Lizzie Murdoch. Yeah, that is the chipping knot and set. That is Sigismund on the bloodline. Yeah? Sigismund Leopold Bafus. All of those jokes, that's Leopold of Austria who kidnapped yeah, uh, the uh, person who was uh, Richard the Lionheart and uh, held him to ransom. When you watch the silent movie on those themes, he did not ki kidnap him at all. 
and that's why they cover up the silent movie yeah about that issue in the holy lands uh, by giving them the French people that made the silent movie it, when I returned from New Zealand they won the Oscar yeah and there is the Bernhards and the Bilderbergers that become the Nazi leaders there he is Bernhard and his wife Beatrix and that is the bears in the woods joke as they come out of Italy and southern Europe and his estates in Lip yeah. <laughs> and he then becomes instead of being Bernhard of the Netherlands he becomes the Nazi yeah and he then supports the Nazis right up to the verge of the war and then he's allowed to become the person that runs the uh, the uh, inquests into what happened and then he carves up the land and there he is again looking just like Kevin Spacey who I believe will be one of his bastard children and that is the Kevin Spacey that is in the Virgilus Piso jokes he plays Virgil Kint in The Usual Suspects and he's related to all sorts of folk and in that movie you've got many of these family members so do you get the Dreyfus and that is a massive demonization you saw it in that newspaper headline there it is again Judea declares war on Germany that is the Dreyfus affair yeah that is the demonization of Jews and German goods in America by the people that were planted onto the Supreme Court and they now live in Naples with Donald that's Naples in Florida and there are them laughing at the jokes that is not Dreyfus, that is Dreyfus, the actor, who makes all those films about people coming down from outer space and uh, making a mountain the shape of a pyramid, yeah, and that's because he's in the master races with the man who played King Henry VIII, yeah, and did all of the beheadings of all of the lovely clerics like Thomas Moore. Do you get the likeness of him to Kevin Spacey? Bernhard Leopold Everard Julius Coert Karl Gottfried Pieter of Lip Bisterfield. Yeah, it's in my earliest novel was to take on those people. Yeah, the earliest novel I re I read. Okay, Dreyfus Affair, Jewish German goods. There's Karl Mayer Rothschild Banker. That is Karl of Naples. That is the uh, Kenneth Kalman joke. Yeah, you get it. You'll see the joke further down. There's the Dreyfus affair, as my search terms. Jewish German goods headlines, and there you've got all of the stuff. Judea declares war on Germany. On Beaver Brooks Daily Express, there is Le Pit Journal, the Dreyfus affair. Yeah, all the pompous French foreign legionnaires. Yeah who go and fight in those sandy holy lands yeah. <laughs> and there they are and that's uh, the French colonial Africa and you can now vote by post in the elections in Paris yeah and the massive banking entity then produces the La Pens and all of the Holland stuff which you'll see in a few minutes okay there's the holy Roman Germans yeah and all of them yeah, demonize the Jews in the lead up to all of that stuff and there's the Dreyfus affair 1894-1906 just cover for the fact that the Rothschilds who planned this like everything that had gone before including the revolutions yeah in America and in France and all over Europe yeah including the uh, religious wars every one of those conflicts is funded either by Habsburg or by Welsher or by Rothschild, or by Babenhaus, yeah, and all of it is the same joke. <laughs> yeah, do not buy Nazi-made goods. Jeans Food Company, George Barker, the writer of the Christian Bible and the member of the Chipping Norton set. Ronnie, my brother-in-law's favourite man, Ronald in Chipping Norton. <laughs> the Dreyfus affair. Do you get it now, Henrietta Rothschild? Uh, married to Abraham Montefiore, banker of Montefiore, not carrying the name Rothschild. Do you know what a mount of fire is? Yeah, 
that was over the home that was the Villa Papyri when the Bible was written yeah, and the Vesuvius erupted onto that Villa Papyri which is not the same one as John Paul Getty runs in Florida <laughs> lovely colourful storytellers aren't they blood red shields and all of that is the same joke as the communists yeah always they denounce Russia yet they totally own Russia as an English speaking province yeah and that is the uh, Russian Tsar Romanov uh, uh, Rothschild with the, the Rothschild in his middle name uh, Romanov Nikolaevich Rothschild the boss at heart of Midlothian and all of it is a crime scene and goodness knows how many of them are sired by artificial insemination this is uh, another Austrian presence and this is now Gertrude the goose yeah and the goose stepping that's Gertrude schnapper now yeah the sturgeon joke yeah for New Zealand totally enslaved by them and that is all the British royal stuff there is the Rotary Club icon and the windmill blades for yeah the massively corrupted Dutch nation yeah that are fascists through all of its history and get massive weather storms and there's the goose stepping for Gertrude the goose yeah and Jemina is a region in the death camp region of Poland there is the tale of Jemima Puddle Duck written by the Potters of the Harry Potter theme and the Beatrices who become the husband the wives of the Dutch fascists called yeah, Bernhardt and their children are born blind yeah, that's because they had German measles yeah, and the goldsmiths that come into the picture they are the people in Munich and Bern who were the main people in the German lodges as the German kings swept into Europe won the Battle of the Boyne for the Protestants and the Protestants have now given an agreement to Theresa May of the Austrian nobility that they will give her a majority in the elections all of it is sectarian Christianity and they are just buffoons <laughs> okay and I think that's Hitler and Mussolini yeah in the lead up in the lead up and that is Miss Jean Brody and all of the admiration for the fascists we see still even by the fascists like the head of Scottish Labour yeah, who's the cousin of David Cameron who's the wife of a Nell Gwynn ancestor eh, the husband of a Nell so do you get it? Jemina is that region in see it? G-M-I-N-A of Rokinto it's in Poland right next to Treblinka isn't it lovely? quite close to Kaiser Wilhelm on the bloodlines uh, family hunting lodge that had to be brought down just as the Warners were leaving to become the propagandists in Hollywood and the holy city of LA ok Salomon Mayor von Russell did you get it? the tale of Jemima Puddle Duck by the Potters and that is the publishers of the first book that I ever read I'm not going to tell you what that is very fond of it it's no longer in my hands it's in the Vashi's hands in my house <laughs> ok Solomon Mayer von Rothschild banker founder of Rothschild banking family and this is the links to the Sterns of lovely classical music in America Caroline Stern the Carolingian bloodlines ok Anselm Salomon von Rothschild banker 1826 Charlotte the name of the royal princess yeah to the goldsmith woman that is commoner Kate Julie von Rothschild Adolf Karl von Rothschild this is Karl yeah the man who runs the bank in Naples and that's why the Pope is kissing the hand because I retold all of those stories that were told by Rabbi Hitchcock's family that is Carrington Hitchcock that writes the blog spot on the Rothschild evil and it was him that told me and gave me the images of Pope 
the the, uh, the Carl Rothschild man being the fifth member of the five arrows in Naples where the Bible was faked yeah and that is them beginning to fund the papacy in inverted commas in other words they're sucking the money off every collection plate across the world for Jesus that never lived why is the Pope kissing Rothschild's hand Le Pape Francie Ambrasse Le Mans the David Rockefeller Jean Rothschild et Henri Kissinger you've heard of him before the world's biggest killer on the boards for uh, Rothschild on the boards for Prince Charles on the boards for Murdoch and running the future of Russia fund and the massive museums in that impoverished country since they stole everything from it including the pole dancers that I met in the bar the other night from Manchester which has just been brutalized yeah owned by Rothschild for the cotton manufacturing there is Kenneth Carlman and the NHS lead that we now have that's why you don't get your parents and girls in the nursing sector people that work in the local council because all of it is run by these residual that was my collaborator before I went to New Zealand and before I became a fraud researcher he was the Chancellor at Durham University he made me an honorary professor there uh, and he collaborated with me because he thought I could, he could rake in money in the NHS by me inventing new medicines I filed the patents for the German companies but you don't get a share of that if you're a thinker and a creative person only if you're in the profiteering teams okay there is the man that he then released out of Glasgow University where he took over as rector and that is the man that became the rector he sorry he became the vice chancellor at Glasgow and he made him an official of that university that is a total fiction his name is uh, his name is uh, I forget it uh, uh, it's the same name as Princess Margaret's lover, Snowden. Yeah, there's his passport. All of it is falsified, and they've had to have massive fires yeah, in the art school in Glasgow University since all of that was exposed by me. Okay, do you get it? That is the man that fled to see President Putin, the revolutionary, like the tax exile Gerard Depardieu did. Yeah, there are no pictures of him with Putin. But there are pictures of Gerard Depardieu, the capitalist, fleeing as the pretend revolutionary out of fucking Paris as soon as I begin to publish pictures of bankers and guillotines. <laughs> Next is Matilda. Yeah, all the names in that world owning bloodline that is waltzing Matilda for the killing of all the Anzac war dead sung by the Irish Freemasons that are the Pogues. Yeah, laughing at the blowing off of all their legs and the losing of all those lives in the great engineered conflicts by the families that presumably they are minor members of Wilhelm Karl von Rothschild 1828 to 1901 Rothschild banking family of Naples married to Matilda Hannah von Rothschild yeah and there is the Villa Pignatelli that was the central bank for Naples, Banco di Napoli, and there is the Orcafat monarch who went to Naples to live because he was the one that had to kill the legitimate claimant to the British throne after all the breeding chamber activities of Rothschild that meant that Marcus Manuel, the uh, Portuguese, yeah, first son, he was the legitimate claimant to the British throne. That's why that one had to murder him. I think he's Edward the Seventh. Yeah, Naples via Pi Pi Pignatelli. King Edward the Seventh, it says there on the bottom. Silly me. And that's Hannah Rosebery, yeah, the first Gentile marriage for the Jewish Rothschilds. Yeah, she died at forty with the word Piso in the blood cancer that she contracted. quite sad isn't it Hannah the current one yeah oh Jesus is holy relics still in that mansion that's their claim that's Wadsden that is Ferdinand their relative 
James von Rothschild, if you look at her, her talking up Wadsden and the Holy Relics and his art treasures, you will see that he is a bullish person and they entertain kings and queens from all over Europe. Yeah, and they pretend that Jesus lived and that they've got his relics in that massive mansion. And when I went to visit it, they pretended that the parrot was speaking back at me and it was them. Yeah, I don't know whether it was Hannah Mary or I can't remember, it might have been my wife. Okay, yeah, that is the parrot joke for the Monty Pythons. This is a dead parrot. Yeah, all of them are still laughing at the same jokes. So that's Ferdinand James von Rothschild, art collector of Watson. Holy relics in the Bible family bloodlines. There it is, in all of its goldsmith glory. <laughs> Massive piles, they've got them all over the world. Look up Rothschild mansions, you get about 300 images. Evelyn Gertrude de Rothschild, another goose. Albert Salomon von Rothschild, 1844 to 1911. Banker, right on the eve of the war. And there are the current bankers right on the eve of the war that Donald is still trying to engineer because this news keeps coming out and embarrassing them. There is Le Pen of the Bible author joke. Extreme right wing fascist like every one of these family members and he is likely to be one of the ancient bankers in the Rothschild bloodline because he worked for the Rothschild bank for 10 years uh, the bank on sea, I think. I don't get that joke, I've not converted it yet. Yeah. And that is all the stuff that I've revealed about banking in France. Yeah, there is the jokes about banking in Italy. Those are the piezo coins which are called asses. Can you see that written there? You can see that it is Lucius Copernius Piso and it's the Pigo Piso Frugies that run the mints and that is the Tootsie Fruitsy ice cream uh, and all the betting scandals and money for nothing for the Marx Brothers. There's the royal, uh, that's the zebra cart with the naturalist on the back and that is the wild ass which is Jesus in the Bible. There's the Mitford sisters and all the Butlin's neighbours jokes. That's Gutlin in the family tree. strip of three Roman bronze coins called asses yeah and that's why the Scottish Borders Council have a donkey field right next to the council building run next to the golf course run by David Murray the Moravangian fraudsters that are the outlaws of Selkirk that become the Roosevelt family and the Bush family yeah from all of it from my local region there's the man that is Bowden, Lord Sanderson of Bowden, yeah, the Freemason that has run the EU fishing contracts for Mrs. Thatcher through all of that time, yeah, and he asked me, he demanded me that I kill salmon, yeah, in the embargo for preservation reasons, but that's a minor crime. There is the swastika, which is the mill blades, yeah, that is the swastika which is the mill blades for the windmills yet in all of those jokes about the gods being displaced and the gods being g bad people because they create in the face of all this evil the world's earthquakes uh, and there's the Archie Louse joke again that is Commoner Kate's Commoner Kate in her prostitute's gear as she dances around at killing kittens as she begins to entertain both the parents of Commoner Kate and Prince uh, Philip who went around driving the taxi as they went to the sleaze dens. There is his wife who's the goldsmith and there is uh, the Pope Francis who's involved in the Latin American genocides and get massive lightning strikes the night he's inaugurated. Okay, Louis, yeah, the Louis of Bourbon, Nathaniel de Rothschild, do you get it? That is Maria Marie Antoinette in that massive dynasty that runs all the way from Clovis yeah, the naming of Louis in Bourbon and the naming of the Brooks family who were a part of that Bourbon dynasty that is the Brookfields that are now married 
to Hannah Mary Rothschild and there is Quentin Bryce who told the story to the world that the Governor General thought that the uh, war correspondent for Gallipoli was Mr Bean and that's why Mr Bean opened the London Olympics as another joke at the war dead. Do you get Clovis now? That is the launch of false Christianity and the killing of every European pagan. Let's get to the bottom and then we can relax and give you some more facts. There is Nathan Mayer Rothschild, yeah, founder of the dynasty. Uh, so let's give you a bit on him. The third son went to England and Nathan Mayer Rothschild, the third son, went to England and settled in Manchester where we had the riots. Yeah, the terror rather, then moved to London. He first established a textile drawing, but uh, but oh, I can't see that. Sorry, business in Manchester, and from there went on to establish. Uh, sorry, to establish Mayor Rothschilds and Sons in London. He married Hannah. Listen to it, Baron Cohen. There it is. See it for yourself. Hannah Barrent Cohen in 1806. Yeah, that is the women folk of that Montefiore bloodline. Yeah, and I still can't remember the name on the south coast where the airport is. Uh, and uh, it's not a mosque. What did the Jewish faith worship in? Uh, who, with whom he had seven children, three daughters, and four sons. So he married. Hannah Barrent Cohen, yeah, that is Nathan Mayer Rothschild who stole the Bank of England, stole the stock market, runs the gold pricing to this very day, generations after that. Okay, so do you get it? This is now the Barrent Cohen story and you'll see how evil and superficial these jokes are because that is Barrent Cohen in today's world. Yeah, so this is Mayer Amschel Rothschild Banker parent of Nathan Mayer Rothschild Banker, yeah, married in 1806, Hannah Barrent Cohen, and that is Barrent Cohen, and that is Barrent Cohen. He's a professor of autism, because I was interested in autism when I worked at Sunderland University, and he works at Cambridge, where Bin Laden used to visit all of the elite academics, because he went to the same school as all of these, yeah, that's the La Rosie School in Switzerland. Lovely sunny weather now. Yeah, let's get it told. That's only halfway. Anselm, Salomon, Von Rothschild, Lionel de Rothschild, Charlotte, a very favourite name with them and the German Freemasons that are the kings. Yeah, even at the butchers of Cumberland that did the massacres in the massive religious wars that were Bonnie Prince Charlie first and second pretenders to the throne because they've got it all stitched up. There is Holland who ran the European Development Bank, shared the shares with his missus, uh, Segaline Royale, and immediately after I published all of that about uh, four years ago, which was the previous French election, uh, they uh, got divorced Yeah, and they engaged a prostitute and all of it was published on my website. Nothing ever happened. Yeah, they ran the bank that is the European Development Bank out of Cheapside in London, uh, and he is a Rothschild banker at C and Company, C I E, I think it is. Don't know what it stands for in French. Okay, Evelina Gertrude de Rothschild, Ferdinand again, James von Rothschild, politician and art collector. Yeah, that's him. Ferdinand of Wadsden in Hertfordshire, right next to my home, yeah, and very close to Leighton Buzzard, where I allowed my wife to be my lodger, and now she's stealing everything because I'm telling this story about her employers through all of her life. Yeah, I don't know how much she gets as a kickback, but it's quite pathetic that all of the ordinary people of the world are prepared to be abused like this for a fast buck. Yeah, the whole country could have the fast buck and everybody that does things that are decent and respectable could become heroes instead of the false news that Murdoch and his relatives, the Sigismunds, are able to publish. Because they own the world for all of its 
biblical and written time. There is, yeah, the man that is Evelyn de Rothschild, there's his wife that was the Hewitt. He's the advisor to Her Royal Highness the Queen. Uh, neither of them are on Forbes' rich list. Yeah, isn't it funny that they can get away with it so long? He is the son of Winston Churchill and he is the half-brother of the Queen that he advises. And she is Hilary Rodden Rose Clinton, who's on the bloodlines for... Uh, for uh, sorry, she's a cousin of Donald Trump. They're on the same family trees. Uh, and I've got all of that published now and all of it is the same for all the religious re uh, figureheads across our world through all of world history yeah that's the pious name and the deaths of all those people that take that on we've got a little bit on that further down Nathan Mayer Rothschild first Baron Rothschild banker and politician yeah that is the Bank of England that is 1915 1840 to 1915 uh, oh sorry that is not the Bank of England one uh, okay Walter Rothschild second baron banker politician and zoologist with the wild asses towing his cart through the Tring Park that has the goldfish in the pond and the goldfish is the massive golden fish that is the biblical fraud yeah the fish is the penis in the Bible yeah, that's why the Catholics get their sex on a Friday. Yeah, fish on a Friday, the only thing you're allowed to eat. <laughs> okay, Charles Rothschild, Rosica Edler von Werthamstein. Yeah, the Steins are coming in. Kind of Germanic name, don't you think? And there is the uh, people that keep the et et etymologists, entomologists, that was me when I did my PhD on the toxins that scorpions produce and snakes produce. Yeah, and all of it is fascinating. They need to know about butterflies and they need to know about silkworms because they run the massive silk factories all over the world. And that says bunny girls, stocks, that's the yeah, the V sign joke that you'll now be coming bored by. And Victor Lowndes was the neighbour yeah, and lives in the house that the Butlins now live in. Yeah, that's the Harrises of Butlins live in stocks. It's been owned by South African uh, munitions magnates and cricket players, but Victor Lowndes owned it, and he was a bunny girl man, an employer, and his best friend was the Busby Babes murderer in America. Yeah, and there is the huge joke that swastika is actually the bunny girl's windmill there's the Moulin Rouge and you can just see the two blades of the windmill yeah that is the gods that have to be brutalized by the people in the Don Quixote myths and it is all just the swastika and the Freemasons across Germany and you'll see that Max Goldsmith and all of those members of the German Lodge eh, have to still have to account for that massive joke there it is can you see it that's the swastika blades that are the Moulin Rouge, the prostitute dens for the bunny girls all over the world, and that is Lagos the Rabbit and Winston Churchill's Churchill joke. Yeah, fuck you. It is a massive joke at all the world's war dead. Yeah, and when you realise that they are related, all of them, to Poppea in the Roman court and all those gladiator things that you've seen, yeah. It is absolutely sickening. Right, there's Hitler, was a British agent, and how easy it is to take over the world. That is the jokes now. Miriam Rothschild, that's Miriam that is in the Bible, that is Miriam that had the leprosy when, uh, when uh, the Elsid actor went to see his relatives after being exiled in Egypt he went back as Judah Rothschild yeah, and he saw that they had leprosy like the Robert the Bruce family that were part of the stealing of the Scottish throne by the treason that is uh, the Barnard Castle treason for the man that launched those massive academic so that's John de Balliol that was gifted the kingship of Scotland yeah, by Longshanks 
and all of it is the same elite families and they change their names all the time that was the Plantagenets when Lon Shanks was the boss okay and here we go this is the bloodlines Mariam Rothschild 1908 right up to 2005 natural scientist zoology and botany and she studied etymology yeah because they run the windmill hill silk factories yeah for the bunny girls all around their fascist globe and that is their cousin and was sired by Alois, Alois Hitler <laughs> yeah with relatives in Germany called Paula and one of my best mates is Paula Hutchison you'll see her further down these bloodlines okay Aristobulus Mariam yeah Aria the Elder all the names that you see M.T. Flavius Sabinus yeah that is the Sabine women there is Gaius Copernius Piso who Nero had murdered and Nero was married to Poppaea yeah and they got their own back because Emperor Caligula sired the world's most powerful mobster in history Arius Antoninus Calpurnius Piso aka Josephus and he launched himself into the Bible as Joseph and he launches the global news and that is Obama's dynasty because they were Suetonius in the Roman court yeah the black slaves yeah that actually killed Nero okay and there's Trajan the Emperor Julianus Calpurnius Piso and that is little purbit is the pussycat joke all through world history because the pussy is the female vagina which is the American pie and all of it goes on and on there's Faustina and Marcus Aurelius that's why Drew Faust is the boss at Harvard that is why Christina Aguilera is in this family bloodline and all of it is the Aurelian dynasties that include Hans Zimmer from Frankfurt like the Rothschilds next image of that world owning bloodline we first we see that we've got Victor Rothschild and there's an ordinary George Lane in the story who lived from 1915 right up to 2010 you could look him up and tell me about him yeah that could be the Rothschilds of Watford and the Star Wars team for all I know or Wedgie Ben <laughs> there is Victor Rothschild, 3rd Baron Rothschild, biologist yeah, towing the cart for the Tring Museum with the zebras inside it that is Barbara Hutchison, his wife from 1911 right up to 1989 that's the Hutchisons that were my next door neighbours refused to sign my petitions eh, and they actually tried to date me when I was so shy that I'd never been out with a woman before <laughs> and they lived in Orchard Park at that stage all of it is the same biblical jokes <laughs> and she still eh, takes all of my jokes and my humour on Facebook never replies okay and they worked with my wife in Plexus yeah it's amazing how corrupted the world is there's the Hutchisons of the presidential bloodline Elisha Hutchison uh, ha Hannah Hawkins Elizabeth Clark there's Edward Hutchison married Lydia Foster there's Hannah Hutchison married John Ruck and that is the Ruck and that is the Bristolian actor in the Off Wiedersehen team that used to swear by saying Ruck <laughs> ok and there's the lilies of the field the breaks of the battles that for Michael Moore in the massive uh, pretender wars and then we get down to the bottom and we see Delaney's donkey yeah, with the ears the Roosevelt's and the Murray's Fala and Selkirk and the Fala dog sits on FDR's lap through all of that time it's a farm near the Duke of Northumberland's shooting lodge yeah at Carfrey Mill and I work there for £32 a day lovely story isn't it there's John Breck of Treasure Islands and all of it is the Robert Louis Clovis joke yeah for Bourbon 
Versailles and Alistair Brooks of Colditz, with his Batman and his manservants, like all of the other dukes and duchesses, sorry, dukes only, though women were not allowed to fight in World War II, they were in the back room, yet yeah, related to Ike Eisenhower, who gave Bernhardt the job, and they were the prostitutes from the Brothers Grimm region that is Gottingen. Yeah, that is uh, Marlena Dietrich and the two Dietrich women that are brave enough to be my Facebook friends, introduced to me by James Henry Fetzer. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So that is the declaration that the Hutchisons, yeah, that we've seen, yeah, that are married into Rothschild, yeah, but the hyperlink for that woman has been taken down. I cannot study whether or not they were from the borders. All of it is obfuscated and you should have seen how many of the hyperlinks were removed in the time that I was preparing this video this afternoon. Okay, George Herbert Walker Bush, his nickname is Poppy. And there is Barbara Pierce and that is the Perses that own everything you see out there including the Piso Polis because he's Perseus the poet and that is the conclusion there's the cover for John Prescott in Tony Blair's murderous regime yeah and every one of those names that's the Howards of Norfolk masters of the horse yeah another Hutchison up there with another ruck okay <laughs> quickly let's get on there is Arnie Schwarzenegger in the bloodlines yeah Arnulf I think and there is Jacob Rothschild and that is uh, Warren Buffett third or fourth on the rich list now owns much of Tesco's all of it reported by me in the pump and dump that he engaged in uh, and he gets away with everything that all the Forbes rich listers get away with he's a secret member of the Alpine Club yeah, and he becomes a knight and the order of Malta and all that bullshit. Yeah, and all of them. This one's nice. Her body double or her self still parades around when I'm allowed to be in Kelso as a philanthropist through the Sainsbury's uh, shopping mall. She's beautiful. One of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. And that was years and years ago when he was fit and well. I think that David Rockefeller, his best mate, has now passed on, and that is the relatives of Paraffin Young of the Scottish Lothians. And the man who invented volatile anaesthetics, which was my profession before I started to do this job, there's the Guinnesses, yeah, that become the lethal joke about the gods in the heavens. Anita Patience Guinness, she's still alive born 1957 yeah and I've learned today that Klaus Moser who's that massive mobster he does not have anything on his family tree except his own name isn't it funny he's a Nazi he's the chief statistician for our country and that's on the tabs that you'll get to see in a few days if they do not bomb me out or actually try and jail me again for revealing all of these sordid secrets there's Nathaniel Philip Rothschild that's young Natty who talks to me all the time if he is really the body double he's married to Patterson's and they live in Kelso in Croft Road <laughs> with the Cassells yeah all of it all those families have known that I'm gonna come into this world and try and do this yeah and I don't think they would thought that I would ever get this far Anita Patience Guinness. There is McGuinness who plays Zeus in the Yah, the Jaw, yeah, the Jehovah's Witnesses and the Argonauts movie. That's him, McGuinness. Yeah, the McGuinnesses are Rothschilds. And do you realise that this is only the male bloodlines and their immediate relatives? Yeah, so if you're a female sister, you can be married to Rothschilds of uh, Watford, you can be married to Wedgie Ben, and nobody can know anything about it. Yeah, that's the Salic Laws joke again. The women get the rough end of the stick, Hannah. I could make your life really gentle. 
<laughs> right. So the, do you get it? That's the McGuinnesses on the Rothschild bloodline pretending to be God. Yeah, pretending to be the son of Yah who's God. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, and even the birds have the swastika. Yeah, even the boomerang has the swastika. All of it is the same jokes. Yeah, the limbs of the swastika for the global Freemasons and the German uh, goldsmiths you're now about to see. There is Alice Marinda Rothschild, 1983, and 2013 she married Zach Goldsmith. I don't know who Alice Marinda Rothschild is. I should have looked up for her. Yeah, must there's Ben Goldsmith, 1980, married to Kate M R Rothschild. Yeah. Can you see how they get tucked away if it's the female? Yeah, he's in the news all the time because of the killing kitten stuff that I've released. Okay, 1975, politician. And there is the goldsmith woman that is Jemina too. <laughs> yeah, the death camp region in Poland that is Jemima Put Puddle Duck. That's Imran Khan, who was the vice chancellor at Bradford, played cricket for. Uh, Sussex County Cricket Club in Brighton my wife was the scorer don't know whether or not she physically had sex with him could be it's the same joke <laughs> I doubt that he would bother with her when he's got competition like that yeah do you get it all of the totally evil aristocracy is uh, totally out to down the ordinary working man and to divide the wealth Pakistan now owns the Vermont Hotel uh, and the families that are the uh, Hiltons the Hiltons are also married to Rothschild if we don't get down that far that's commoner key killing kittens and rowing with the woman that was the madam at the prostitution den in the rowing team uh, she's got two body doubles that I know of uh, and there is Prince George yeah, they're under pressure. Everything is under cover, and Charlotte is the name of the princess. Okay, and 